Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here today, and I pray that you're having a great day. Now, I don't know if I'm the only good news that you've gotten today, you know, with the way they're covering everything, with the protests, the carnage, um, the destruction of property, the loss of life with uh, uh, Mr. George Floyd, the covering of the of the uh, of the funerals, um, all of the things that are going on. Defund the police, fund the police, get rid of the police. Should we have the police? All of these things are happening. Uh, the news is being reported. Everybody's putting their slant on it, and people are looking around saying, what the world is going on? Well, I'm here to tell you, my friends, I have good news for you. The God of the Bible is in charge, and nothing happens that the Word of God does not and has not spoken to, and I'm excited tonight. You know what we're going to do? We're going to resume the study that that we did on last Thursday night dealing with uh, foundations. You know, we were in uh, Psalms chapter 11, and that great question was asked in Psalms chapter 11, verse 3 If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? And I want to talk to you some more about the foundations in society, foundations dealing with the civil uh, 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 structures, dealing with the spiritual structures and institutions in society. And if they are under assault, if they are destroyed, what can the righteous do? We're talking about what they are, and we're dealing with the fact that they are indeed under assault. But I tell you one thing, the righteous has a remedy. I love what David said in Psalms uh, chapter 11 and verse 1, the last clause. He says, uh, the second clause, how say ye to my soul, that is, how say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. David says, I'm not going to run. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not falling apart. I'm not going to chicken out. I'm not going to be intimidated. I'm not going to be brought down. Don't even suggest that I flee like a bird. Why? Because the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is on my side and he's on your side. Somebody called me yesterday, says, Bishop Wooden, how you doing, man? There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things. I said, brother, I have no complaints. God is good and worthy to be praised. And I'm excited that my life and times and my friends, your life and your times are in the hand of the God of the Bible. Now, I want you to come on out tonight, and I want to say to the members of the upper room and our many friends, we have many, many friends who are praying for us, who are standing by us out there on YouTube Live, on Facebook Live, and the people who gather at our church. I tell you, I want to thank you, those who, who are coming Thank you for your patience. Now, we are working with the social distancing thing. And as you know, <laughs> it's a work in progress. We get it right sometimes. We get it wrong sometimes. And thank you for your patience. We have some of the best people who are working to help get you seated. I want to give a big shout out to our head usher, Brother Tim Jones. What a tremendous job he's doing. And saints, thank you for how you are working with us. And uh, and we're evolving. We are, we are learning as we go. But at least... We're here, and uh, I thank you for the turnout. Oh, my God, the saints have been excited, and I praise God that we have been responsible, exercising social distancing, doing the things that we should do to remain safe, and guess what? We're doing just that, and the God of the Bible is watching out for us. So tonight, I want you to come. Join me in Bible study. Oh, I have some things that I want to talk to you about. I'm talking to you about these foundations. Everything that's going on in the news, in society, that we see in the world today, the unrest, all of these things uh, are covered in the scriptures. But my friends, the Bible tells us not to be afraid, not to be afraid. We're not to come unglued. Praise the Lord. But we're going to rejoice. We're going to live holy. We're going to stand our ground. 
We're going to play our part. We're going to serve the God of the Bible with great delight. So join me tonight for Bible study. Yes, we're going to study the Word of God together here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ and there on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and all of the outlets of our ministry. We're taking advantage of, of, of all of them, of all of them. And I want you to come, those who can get out here and be in the service live. We all, uh, we all do admit there's nothing like being here. And I'll see you tonight at the Upper Room. God bless.